Hey guys, welcome to UK Diver. My name's Andy and today we are going to be looking at these, some silicon wrist seals because on my last dive I ripped one and I had a subscriber ask me to do a little video because he's a newbie on what the benefits are of silicon cuff seals versus latex cuff seals. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first guys, spring has sprung in the UK and so we are outside on my lovely new picnic bench that was made for me by a friend Corky who you've seen if you've watched any of my Scapper series and he set himself up a little joinery business making these things so if you fancy one or just planters and all kinds of stuff head over to his website Corky's Creations, I'll leave a link down below. So today, yeah, we are beginning replacing the cuff seals in my suit because at the end of the last dive when I was at Swanage, as I was getting my suit off, the cuff seal tore. So I do need to put some new ones on now. As you can hopefully see, I have already got rid of the old ones. So we're going to do that. We're going to swap my cuff seal and we're going to have a chat about why you might want to go down the silicon route. I've got the SciTech cuff seal system, which is not the most popular in the UK. The most popular one is the Kubi. That's the one. <laughs> most popular ones in the UK, the Kubi system. They are not without their own faults, but they tend to be, uh, I think, they're, they're one of the better systems. This one's okay, it's a bit faffy. To swap a cuff seal, the tools that you're going to need is a stout teaspoon and some very sharp scissors. And this has nothing to do with the suit, they're just trimming seals down to the right size. So that's the first job. So I do apologize for noise. We've got the usual light aircraft club out. Uh, we've got nutty dog owner over there, just letting the dog bark. Some guys erecting or taking down scaffolding. We've got the very noisy parrot that lives next door. Just the usual kind of stuff you get on a UK housing estate, I'm afraid. So yeah, I do apologize if you pick any of that up, but I've got to live with it, now so do you. What I've got here are some silicon seals. I use waterproof, all these particular ones are waterproof. These particular ones come in all funky colours, red and blue, and you can also get the black. The last ones I had on here were red ones, so you might notice that in some of the videos, but this time all they had in stock was black. There are other ones, and the other popular make is, I think it's called Silflex. So yeah, you can pick them up, but I think you're gonna get them in black. So if that kind of thing bothers you and you want a funky colour, then go with the waterproof ones. I bought these ones from Aquanaut simply because they were the cheapest. They were like three quid cheaper than everybody else, which basically covered the PMP, so I was a happy bunny. So what you get in the bag, you get this water lube, I think it is, that I don't bother with. That'll go in the bin. And then obviously a pair of very nice, very sticky <laughs> seals all seals normally come with these little markers ribs on the end and that is so you can measure and snip across next to those ribs to get it to fit your wrist size which is what i do need to do because these are standards i think you can get them in small as well which is definitely not me but you get them in standards and then i think i need to take it down to about four rings now what i do do is have a photo of my old seal on my phone so i can check and then i can cut these without having to do the usual on off on off method of making sure the damn things fit so that's a handy little tip for you when you're taking your old seal off take a photo of it and then you can trim yours to exactly the right size so checking the photo on my phone i leave one two three four and then the fifth one there so that's one on i'm cutting which runs to here now the trick with this guys is you can't leave any nicks because the nick will cause it to tear now i'll try not to leave any i normally do end up doing because i'm quite cautious cutting these and there we are now that's pretty good so again don't know if you can see you're trying to keep that edge as smooth as possible and what you don't want is any little nicks in it you know because you snip 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 it's better if you can do it in one swoop just once you've done it have a look and just make sure you've got nothing that nicks lower than anywhere else and if you have like i have got one right there look yeah you just see that nicks what you need to do is trim that corner off so effectively just get rid of the nick yeah and sometimes this can take for absolute bloody ages because you end up trimming a bit more a bit more a bit more and a bit more just to get it nice and smooth 
But you know what? After you've just paid 20 odd quid for some seals, the last thing you want to do is have it rip on you the first time you go out. So, so yeah, pretty happy with that. So that's the bit I don't need, and that'll go in the bin. And I'll do exactly the same on the second one. So that's that. Seals are trimmed and ready to go onto the suit. And this is one of the big benefits of these particular uh, types of seals because you can literally swap them out in kind of five minutes with some very basic tools. So what you want to do is get your spoon, go in between the outer cuff and the inner locking ring, okay, and then it's basically just a little lever, there you go, and the inside pops out, okay. You get your cuff seal, okay, and then this is the front edge, and then this is the back edge sealing edge so just make sure that's got no nicks or burrs or anything in it which you really shouldn't have on the edge of the seal you see it's got this little lip that little lip fits into one of these funky grooves and which one is entirely up to you as long as it's one it doesn't matter so poke it through like this so that the front edge of the seal is on the front edge of your ring system and then just fold the back over like an elastic band snap and then basically make sure that groove is in the same slot on the ring. So we're going to go for the front one. We're not going to go any further than that. So just pull it along. Make sure that is there all seated nicely. Okay. Yeah, just like that. And it's just basically a case of popping it back into the cuff. So again, make sure that your sealing surface is nice and clean. So again, if I show you this, there is a little ring on the inside there. There, <coughs> the back bit of the seal pinches up to, and that's what creates your seal. So again, just make sure there's no crud on that. Otherwise you're gonna have an annoying little leak that you can't find. So all we're going to do now, guys, is pretty simple. Okay, we're going to line this up as straight as possible, and then there we go. And what you'll find is one side will go in, the other won't. But you just press it in. Okay, there's no. Sometimes it just takes a bit of oomph. Once you're into that position there make sure everything's straight there's no bubbles okay and then it's just a press to lock it in pop 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 and that's it one replaced seal jobs are good and nice and easy so there we are guys two changed cuff seals in about I don't know, what, like eight minutes and that's when me waffling to you um so, biggest advantage of cuff seals is their changeability. I've just changed them in a couple of minutes with some very basic tools. So if you carry a spare set of these in your box, pre-trimmed to your size, then there is nothing, you know, every skipper is going to have a teaspoon on the boat. There is nothing to stop you swapping out a cuff seal if you need to actually on the boat while you're diving. So the amount of dives these have saved people, it's a lot. So the ability to swap them out like that uh, is a dive saver and a weekend saver as well because with latex seals you know you've not got you, you can't swap them out like this you've got to snip the damn thing off you've got to dremel all the old stuff off including the tape you've got to buy the new kit you've got to buy the two-pack glue you've got to sit there and glue it and compress it leave it to cure overnight then put the tape on then put the other tape on and you're basically talking you know a good couple of days job to do it yourself or you know a, a good day if you start early and uh, get on to do it plus you need a fair bit more kit than just a ruddy teaspoon you know if you have a latex cuff seal go on your suit basically you, you buggered for the weekend until you can either get to the shop and and buy the stuff if you're confident doing it yourself because it's not it's not strictly an easy job it's not terrible but it's not easy or you get into your local dry suit manufacturer where they do it for you but that can be weeks the other thing is the latex itself which is a form of rubber and rubber degrades over time it's not particularly uv stable it doesn't 
like any kind of volatile compound. So if you're storing your dry suit in your garage, like a lot of people do, uh, and you park in your car in that there all the time, the fumes from your car is going to kill your neck seal. And I've literally seen neck seals and cuff seals latex ones turn to jelly and i'll see if i can get some pictures and put them up there but it's, it's quite gross they do literally just turn into gel it is very bizarre uh, these don't do that silicon ones they are 100 percent uv resistant you can dip them in petrol and it's not going to bother them i mean you know it's the same stuff that you bake cakes with so it's heat resistant it's light resistant it's chemical resistant it's pretty non-destructible from that point of view one of the things you'll hear people say about is all the more delicate. Um, yeah, I don't believe that from my own personal experience. I don't believe that. My last set that I tore, which these replace, I must have had on there for. Oh, it's got to be three seasons, if 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 not four, because you know 2020 kind of came and went without me doing anything. So it might even be four seasons. So you know, if you're getting four seasons out of a latex set of cuff seals, you're doing well, to be honest with you. So I think they're probably on par. Do the sensible thing, talc up, lube up, whatever you need to do to make sure that they they slip over your wrist and slip off nicely. You know, because the more abuse you give them, the less they're going to last. So do talc them up. Do make sure that you are you know lubricating them as you're putting them on and off and the same with your neck seal at the same time and then i think the final benefit of using the silicon seals is because you have to go for a cuff seal system you're already set up ready for dry gloves if they're your thing but you're set to go now obviously with latex seals you can use dry glove systems you know they have just more rings that go up here and pinch and, and, and then you fit your dry glove to that similar to this but instead of being integrated under the suit they are separate to the suit and separately attached problem with them again is it's more attachments it's more failure points it's more places for the bloody thing to leak and it's just more fast so at least with these they are on the suit they are taped up they're nice and watertight direct from the manufacturer so jobs are good downsides with the silicon it's super slick and it won't stick to anything so you have to have one of these rather bulky cuff seal systems on it does add more bulk to your suit so you can't slip in and out of things as easy to the point where on my twin set i've had to put an a gear harper type mechanism on the right shoulder so that the strap is now adjustable still one piece but adjustable just so I can get the bloody cuff in because I've got my computer on this side, obviously your shoulder dumps this side, so I put that side through the harness first and then there wasn't enough, I couldn't, like it kept getting caught on a bloody cuff seal. So now I can pull that strap out, get into it and then tighten it up as I'm putting the waist belt on and it all works very nice. So that is one pain in the bum. Secondly is cost. These things initially are obviously more expensive, yeah? But when you think about the money that they save, you just being able to swap out your cuff seals without having to buy glue, blah, 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 over the life of the suit, much, much cheaper. There is no way in God's green earth I'm going back to latex seals after trying these. I think latex has had its day and I would be surprised if you could buy any medium to high range suit that come with latex seals as standard you know the higher end suits are all going to come with this kind of system and i would recommend it if you're buying a new suit that you don't even bother looking at the latex ones because they are such a faff and, and they are like super consumable and they will eventually give up on you if you've got a suit with latex seals on already don't fear next time you do need a replacement take it into your local otter or hammonds or o3 or whoever you take your suit to and get them to put one of these systems on a bit of a retrofit and then nice upgrade for you i've already done a video about the neck seal i'll leave a link up to there because again i also use um a silicon neck seal for exactly the same reasons and I personally that has saved me a couple of weekends because i tend to get through more neck seals than i do cuff seals so i've probably got a fat head yeah that's probably it but again if you've got a spare one with you on the boat or you know back it sure that you can uh, swap over during the surface interval it can save you a weekend so uh, i'll link to that video up there that's it guys hope you like the video please do subscribe and please do if you're not going to subscribe at least give the video a like it really does help me out we will have a look at dry gloves next all right see you then